Well guys, today I am very excited because today I am undertaking a hike which involves stairs all the way from down to top with an altitude gain of around 800 to 900 meters and uh, this stairs is uh, actually uh, alongside this uh, pipeline which you can see uh, starting from Jalipul power station and all the way up to a place called Palm Tang. So I think it will be a beautiful hike and an adventurous one. Oh, great one. And these are the stairs which you can see which I'll be climbing up all the way up alongside this uh, huge water pipeline. Okay. Ah. So moving up. Uh, up towards my destination I don't know how this track is going and how much time I will take because this is my first time and I'm doing it all solo from here uh, this place uh, where I've started is near to Rani Pool which is around 10 kilometers from the main Gangtok center so from there it is hardly any distance to a place called Jalipul and from Jalipul power station you just have to walk up and these stairs starts and you start climbing up so uh, seems to be quite a unique hike for me today because generally I have taken hikes which are generally on trails but this is the first time I'm doing a uh, track or hike which involves stairs all the way from your starting point to the end point. So let's hope we'll be enjoying it and seeing how this all goes about till we reach the end. Wow, great! I have been told that uh, this pathway involves around 13,000 steps all the way down from uh, Jalipul power station to up the place which I had earlier told you about that is Palm Tang and Palm Tang is a place uh, where the uh, road will be meeting up there uh, which is a road connecting the Palm Tang Roanek where the central jail of Sikkim is uh, located and to Gangtok so the entire staircase uh, is actually quite unkept and not maintained as far as uh, this uh, place is concerned but uh, this what makes uh, it more adventurous because you feel that you are going for the first time and discovering this route Oof. so after moving up uh, along this uh, thick undergrowth and shuri uh, staircase uh, pathway I have uh, come to this uh, small patch of opening which you can see here with the uh, white Tibetan flag spluttering in the slow breeze but I think uh, this uh, open patch and is uh, short lived because after that again I can see the same undergrowth and shorai pathway ahead. So I will take a small break here uh, and then move ahead. You can see from here the misty covered uh, hills and staircase farming all green it's looking beautiful this scenery from here wow so a small break here and then I'll move ahead I 
आ जाओ आ जाओ कहाँ से निकलोगे ऊपर अच्छा ये कितना स्टेप से ये स्टेप तो वो आगे ऊपर बता रहे थे कि तेरह हजार स्टेप होता है ऐसा ही है तेरह हजार स्टेप से तो कितना लगेगा ऊपर जाने में भी अभी आपको लगभग डेढ़ घंटा लगेगा डेढ़ घंटा हाँ ठीक है ऊपर खड़ा है ना ऐसा हाँ हाँ आप जाना बहुत बट ये साथ साथ में पूरा पाइपलाइन चल रहा है चलो अभी यहाँ से बोल रहे हैं क्या डेढ़ डेढ़ घंटा और ऊपर जाना है वन एंड हाफ चलो बढ़िया ठीक है <laughs> मैं तो ब्रेक कर रहा था यहाँ पे ऐसे चलेंगे ऊपर को <laughs> अरे धूप में जाना बहुत मुश्किल पड़ता है हाँ धूप है मगर बीच में तो छाया है पूरा बीच में तो है हाँ तो इतना ज़्यादा प्रॉब्लम नहीं होगा मेरे ख्याल से यहाँ डॉगी भी घूम रहे हैं डॉगी भी आ गए हाँ सो आफ्टर इंट्रैक्टिंग विद द लोकल्स आई हैव कम टू नो दैट इट इज़ वन एंड हाफ आज मोर टू गो अप टू रीच द डेस्टिनेशन ओके लेट्स हीव सम इट रीज दैन मूव हैड मेरे ख्याल से ये जो लोकल्स यहाँ पे मेरे को मिले थे ब्रेक के टाइम में ये लोग ये पत्थर का काम करते हैं जैसे वो बोल रहे थे तो शायद ये यहाँ पे मेंटेनेंस काम करते होंगे जैसे आपको दिख रहा है यहाँ पे मेंटेनेंस ऑफ दिस पाथ चलो इट वाज गुड थिंग दैट आई मेट दिस लोकल्स बिकॉज मूविंग ऑन दिस रिमोट आइसोलेटेड स्टे केस पाथवे वॉज क्वाइट लोनली एंड I have been told that there are bears and leopards also in this area. So, so my as I was walking up, my confidence was dwindling and contemplating whether to go up or not. But seeing these people, uh, I've got the confidence of moving ahead. And I believe that uh, the phase one of the pathway was less maintained and this one is the second half is better maintained because i can see the pathway is having less undergrowth which shows that uh, the locals or villagers must be using it quite frequently but more than or compared to that the phase 1 uh, pathway before i had taken break so and the villagers were saying that uh the last part is quite a climb and because of the sun it will be difficult climbing up in the seat but uh, what i am finding is that in between there are a lot of uh, shadowy areas most of the way which is giving you a uh, shelter from this uh, open heat which you are getting today otherwise uh, the last few weeks have been quite bad in terms of weather because it was all rainy lot of landslides and going out was difficult but uh, walking on this uh, pathway wow this is looking beautiful this patch is better than the one where i had stopped and the greenery the forestry it's all beautiful ah i love this place sikkim is a place where one must visit every place is heaven any place you go you get a beautiful way or a track or hike just behind your doorstep so this is also just behind my doorstep as i was saying because my location is somewhere up there that he lock and from there i have come to this place which is uh, known as uh, jalipul assam lenjle nandok and up ahead bhushak so it's a good track and i'm enjoying my track okay there are two pathways now uh, as you can see 
one is going through this uh, very steep climb along this pipeline and one is going uh, track I think it will also go up which will be bypassing this uh, thick undergrowth so let's see let's take a detour from here and see where it goes if not then we'll be coming back <coughs> Oh, this uh, track which I had taken a detour, it is going down again onto the Pakka track, so which I don't want to take. So I think I have to go back to the same point where the pipe was going steep and climb up. So from there I'll have to go up. Uh, uh, got off track a bit, but not to get disappointed because this is what all adventures hikes are all about where you get to explore and test and trial various routes to reach your destination crossroad place here yeah. so this is the place again back to square one and from here oh all the way up Steep climb up, ah, bracing myself for this climb. Oh. Quite a teacher's climb, made me all breathless, though I have done only halfway through. Ah, still halfway to go up. Ah. Now this is a climb in this whole route which is making me think yeah this is what ah, now the pathway is putting some tough patches for me yeah that's what I want not that regular patches with plain trails Ah. Ooh. Not one growth. As you can see. But I think people again must not be using it too frequently than that part. Second part. And I can call this the third phase of the uh, track where the undergrowth has tendency increase and slope is also quite a tremendous one yeah good good line yeah okay I think after this wall which is a support for the pipeline the pathway must be a bit Oh, inclined downwards yeah oh oh but it's all oh covered with bushes I think I have to take some detour okay again climbing up and you come up to a beautiful scenery and there is some house up here this is the entrance the house but it's locked so nobody here I think this pathway should take me back to the uh, pipeline trail where yeah, I left it okay. and to give you a glimpse of uh, the destination we have to reach is uh, up there where you can see the hillock up there so till that altitude I have to go so a lot of hard work and walking to do 
till I reach my goal. Okay, so I think back to our pipeline pathway. Let's go on to this back and from there I think moving on to the pipeline would be easy. Okay, jumping down. Okay, so that bushy pathway was behind this uh, cemented portion. Now back to the pipeline. Oh. After walking a bit, again I am getting a detour from here. One pathway is going along this foot track, and this is going as an uplifted bridge onto the other side. So let's take the adventurous one the elevated pipeline bridge. Great walking on this uh, uplifted bridge. It's quite down below, as you can see. So, if I have a fall, then surely I'll break a bone or two. But that is what I always say no adventure without any danger. This uh, whole pathway is infested with a lot of insects, spiders, thorny bushes which are getting clung to your body and clothes as you can see here. Uh, thrones all stuck to your trouser. But this is what I call adventure. And uh, all along the way from the bottom to the place where I have reached now, uh, this uh, pipeline is going through number of uh, shadowy patches and then again it is opening up uh, to give a place where you get sunshine so the shadowy patch is dark gloomy and uh, full of shadow with a uh, lot of insects thorny bushes there and as you open up here then it is uh, less bushy and it's a uh, more comfortable zone so it's a mix match of a tunnel type of pathway and then open patch so I think a little bit more would it be this place where I have to reach I don't know let's see but I couldn't be reaching so early let's see how far I have to go now This is the staircase again which is going up and the pipeline is going still ahead so let me go on to this staircase i think this is better okay so i've reached uh, this uh, place uh there i had come that is a railing and from there to this place this is called a monastery up there and i've got a good uh, person here who is a caretaker and he has offered me tea so i'll be having tea okay okay yeah tea is ready tea is ready and may i know your name please yeah what is your name puchung singh lipcha puchung lipcha okay Puchum. Ah, so lipcha mr lipcha is offering me tea here Yes. Thank you. Ah, this is a Nandok <laughs> monastery. Okay. Uh, monastery name is uh, Mingyur Dedongli. Hmm. Okay. Yes. So it is how old it is? Uh, actually, that time AD, you know, 1823. 1823. Yeah, 1823. Now, 
1951 is recognized the Chogyal Maharaja oh, in great. this very old monastery. Okay. Now, now one is new government. And then after this, all are dismantling. Very big project in here, oh. starting maybe on November last December. I don't know. Okay. That, uh, now all are sanctioned. Okay. In this uh, uh, the project. Now we start maybe November last, November first week. Now we start all are dismantling this kitchen, everything. Okay. Monastery new. And they will be constructing all new. All new. That's yeah. a good thing. Yes, yes, and yes, yes. then it will be more renowned than. Yes, 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 yes. More people come. More people. More students in here. Maybe 40, 34 monks in here. All are studying in outside. Okay. Yes, not. Nobody yeah, is studying no, now. Nobody is studying here. Okay. Yeah. So it will be a good thing. Yeah, some uh, some students in Nepal, you know, uh, Namo Buddha. Okay. Bauda and some are uh, your, your Lava in Jangan Nirmuchi Seda okay. Institute. Some are some in Rumtek Monastery, Niwan Monastery, Dharma Chakra Center. Oh, great. Mm. Some, are, some are UP, one mm. Baranas, ah. some, uh, some monk are Merik Seda. Okay. Is, you know, all are. They studying in studying outside. And outside. outside. So if uh, this is constructed, then, 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 then after they can they study here also. They studying here in the okay. debate okay. center. Okay. What is the meaning of Buddhism debate? All are studying here because here is you know uh, available in land. You know okay. land is maybe two acres and half. Okay. Mm, and many must in Gumba place. So this place is having two acres two of acres land. Two acres and land. Okay. In only monastery. Monastery. Uh, Maximum two acres and half, maybe three acres something. Okay. And that is very uh, enough. Okay. In monastery. And then after the project, and I'm right now in very, you know, studying this very all are very old. Okay. And this is very big project, maybe, maybe construction. First of all, in the totally this area in beautification. Okay. Be then it will become tourist and, and attraction tourist also. Attraction. This place is very tourist attraction place. I was told uh, there is one road which is coming all the way from. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pekyong, road is over there. Pakyong to, to. Yeah. Pakyong to, you know. this Pakyong and this is coming. Yes, 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 above. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now you are going to. But that was widening, but nowadays it is not widening. No, 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 no. no. Road is available. Road just, is, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. just over there is road in monastery road. And this road is. All are connecting in Pakyong Airport route. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have gone through this route. Yeah, yeah. I have gone through this oh. route. Okay. But I have never done this pipeline route. Yeah. yeah so yeah. maybe uh, as per Mr. Lipcha from here, it yeah. is only one or two kilometers up to my destination. Yes, yes, yes. Only two kilometers here. Two kilometers. Okay. Yes. So thank you, Mr. Lipcha. Oh, for it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I finished off with the tea with Mr. Lepcha down below at that uh, hut mint and now come up and from here you are getting a beautiful view of the lower Siari which you can see here then Devarali I don't know if the camera is able to capture or not but that side is Devarali down this side is lower Siari and as you pan towards left on the farther end of the hillock is from tech monastery so i have come all the way from gangtok down to ranipul and along this pipeline which you can see and still two kilometer or so to move ahead and this monastery is the one which mr nifcha had told me that uh, in few months or so ahead this whole area will be renovated and new monastery will be coming up so hope so they maintain this original one and make a new monastery uh, for the young monks who have presently have to go to other monasteries like room tech to study uh, so for this people it will be a great benefit and mr hipcha has also offered me to have a few amruds as i go ahead so i'll pick up some and then move ahead from that monastery behind again I have uh, taken the tour and again back to the pipeline so I have been told that uh, this pipeline was uh, laid in 1960 
uh, 1960-70 and uh, it takes uh, water from Rorochu and Takchangchu and they both are made to converge at one place and this pipeline then goes to Jalipul to generate the hydroelectric electric power but uh, it was in 2011 uh, when the earthquake had hit Sikkim very badly that this pipeline got uh, uh, disturbed and got broke at number of places which uh, had a devastating effect on the Nandok village where around 10 to 12 uh, houses were affected very badly so I believe uh, since then the pipeline has not been restored fully though uh, presently the work is on to again make this pipeline functional so that it can generate the power it is supposed to and uh, I've been told that work is on there are some workers who are working I can see it so these are the uh, I think uh, idle power people who are trying to make this uh, again serviceable I thought that uh, that would have been the last uh, climb to my destination but that is not so be because here you can see again whoo steep climb still I think around one kilometer to reach my destination up till now I have finished uh, Five kilometers from Jalipul to this place. I think uh, there is a need for the break and water and snacks break for now before I climb this uh, uh, steep climb ahead. Oof. Break time. finding it a bit easy walking on the stairs upway so I climbed up onto this pipe and moving up though it's a bit slippery but uh, giving it a feeling of uh, Bahubali movie in which uh, Bahubali is climbing up a log and jogging up to the dam Oh, to break the dam and make the water flow downwards so that the whole enemy could be swept away wow the movie it's quite so romanticized but in reality you can see my state oh. Oh. but still oh, this adventure hike is uh, one that I will remember for a long long time because such kind of heights you really see where you find stairs all the way oh. 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 the sun is also have risen up and the heat has also 
increase which is uh, making you sweat I hope uh, I will get some shelter and yeah same which I am saying that in between the open patches you have got narrow shadowy areas so which this pipeline is going and in this uh, heated atmosphere these shadow areas give you a cool effect as you go past them because <clears throat> the sun rays are not reaching those areas so keeping that area moisture laden and with a temperature few degrees below what is what we're finding on this open patches where the sun is coming yeah uh, this uh, hydroelectric project uh, is uh, considered to be around 3 megawatt but uh, during its uh, functional days it used to perform and give around 1.5 megawatt only and there were various reasons for it because uh, it, because of the deforestation up in the higher reaches and uh, the low maintenance of this water channels on which I am walking because of this there is a lot of uh, pilferage of uh, water which is going away from the hydro project and uh, not generating that much of power as it should be okay the wall ahead need to jump I don't think uh, this uh, hike from Jalipul to Pamteng along this uh, pipeline has been recorded earlier or been uploaded in YouTube so I can be considered as uh, one of the first to do this hike though the local must have done this uh, pathway number of times but uh, being uploaded on YouTube I think it would be the first one uh. Oh, this I've reached some kind of a house. I think this is the pump station or the water collection point. Yeah, I think that it is a storage or from where the water must be getting regulated before it gets released. These are the, I believe, the manual controllers for controlling the water going down now this is the oh, staircase all the way up the never ending staircases oh. the place where water is getting stored and then channelized to go down the pipeline has gone inside this uh, wall and you are able to see it now and the pathway has become very narrow and full of vegetation onto the sides So I think I'll be about to reach my destination, should be around 15 to 20 minutes more, hope so, not so sure because uh, 
as I told you earlier, this is uh, my first walk on this route and so I'm going blind and moving up as the situation is demanding. Okay, at last I have reached the destination. This is the house and from here I just have to move up and the metal black road is up there. So ye jo track aaj humne kiya hai ye Mr. Rai ki wajah se hua hai inhone hi mere ko iska advice kiya tha ki ek rasta hai yahan se jo staircase jo pipeline ke sath mein hai aur wo pura jali pul se inke ghar ke wahan se guzarta hai to maine abhi thodi der pehle cross kiya tha but pata laga yahi hai to fir inhone yahan bula liya to main थैंक यू कहना चाहता हूँ मिस्टर राय को जिन्होंने वेलकम सर <laughs> जिन्होंने मेरे को इस रूट के बारे में बताया और आज मैं ये रूट आज कर सका काफ़ी दिन बाद निकल दिया एक महीना ही हो गया जी जी जब आपने बताया था मेरे जी जी है ना थैंक यू मिस्टर राय और मिस्टर राय ने एक दो रूट और बताए हैं जो इससे और आगे ऊपर को हैं तो देखते हैं वो कब पूरा होंगे वो जब भी होंगे तो फिर आगे बताएँगे थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच Ah, from that roadhead where I had come up, where the house was, uh, it's a cake walk walking on this uh, road. This is the road which is connecting Gangtok, Rongyak, Namdok, and Pekyong, where the Sikkim Hundredth Airport is located. And uh, Mr. Rai was very kind of, and uh, his hospitality was overwhelming. He not only offered me juices, but uh, did not made me leave without having lunch. Whew. Finally, the pipeline has got me to the place of my final destination. That is uh, the waterfall at Palm Tank. Whew. And this is the bridge which we need to cross to reach the waterfall. Wow. Great journey. Beautiful. We'll go there, sit and then uh, I think I will take a bath. Whew. It was a long long journey and uh, to reach here the distance I covered from the start point was uh, is uh, 14 kilometers and in 7 hours 40 minutes. Oh long journey great <laughs>